Hello. Do do do. We've got our party hats on because seven years. Seven years. It's our philosophy. Seven years. <laughs> I cannot believe it. We're mm -hmm. in the seven year club. Whoop whoop. Look what we have to celebrate here. Yeah. Hey, well, we know how to do it in my house. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> she said, how are we going to celebrate? I'm like, hey, I got an idea. <laughs> Can you yep. believe it? So, oh, this is yeah. the most ginormous oh. bottle of wine I've ever seen mm. in my life. <laughs> and it's seriously, it's got to be 20 pounds. I'm not even joking. I'm not. It is so heavy. <laughs> Lift that up and just show them the bottom of the circumference oh. of that pupper. Oh my gosh. Oh, <laughs> oh it doesn't do it justice. Yeah, it it's as big as our heads. Yeah. Oh, it's so oh, it's, heavy. It's good stuff. <laughs> So I said, oh, we're, we're celebrating? I'm ready. <laughs> so I brought this out and she's like, what? <laughs> That's how we do it. I was like, let's pop it open. That's how we do it. We're yeah. not going to do that, though. We, <laughs> we have popped open our Dr. Pepper with cream soda oh. zero. <laughs> That's what oh. we're sipping on. <laughs> we oh. don't need liquor to have a good time. Just saying. Oh, goodness. <laughs> So, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> so today is October 25, 2024, and this is Floss Tube number 40. 40. We finally hit 40. <laughs> it's seven years. <laughs> like I say, we're pacing ourselves. We are. We've got time. Mm -hmm. So, yep. Yeah. So yeah. We're kind of liking, liking this. I know. Okay. They're cute. <laughs> But, uh, yeah. <laughs> what is there to share? We're just so excited to be together. Right. <laughs> That's what we've got. And if you notice, we're at my house today. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna and take I'm this so off, excited. It's going gonna, gonna to flip off. I love, I know. <laughs> I, mine's kind of cutting. <laughs> so we're uh, taping at uh, my house. And as you can see behind <laughs> us is... Um, most of my Polish pottery collection. And so I we have the doors open so that there's not this huge reflection so you can kind of see what we have there. And then right behind Holly, there's a vase by um, Costa Boda, I believe. And my husband and I bought that on our honeymoon. Oh, so, so yeah, cool. and the colors go well. So I yeah. leave it in there. Love so. it. Mm -hmm. Love it, love it. <clears throat> so, it is a feast for the eyes. Like I, <laughs> I came in, just stood here and stared at it. It's for the first a long thing time. you kind of see. It is. It's just yeah. gorgeous. It's so beautiful. There, yeah, there are no words. So, so yeah, I'm so excited to be at Anita's house. <laughs> this is awesome. It's all good. I love being here. <laughs> <laughs> I do. It's the wine. No, no. no I'm kidding. Doctor Pepper. <laughs> I, I'm, and there's another bottle just like it. <laughs> the other one's from Italy. This one. It's not quite as big <laughs> as the French bottle. <laughs> Whoa. Right. Right. <laughs> I'm ready for a stitch retreat. <laughs> Wheel it in. <laughs> you have to. You can't carry that thing far. No. no. Oh my word. No. It's something else. Oh my goodness. So. Yeah. All right. All right. Here we are. Mm hmm. You're welcome. Welcome. Thank you for spending some time with us. Thank you so much. Uh, all right, let's get this party started. All right. Well, we've already started. <laughs> <laughs> We're so excited. Seven yes, years. We seven. cannot believe mm -hmm. it. Our very first video, we were at a scrapbooking retreat. Wasn't that the first one? No. It wasn't. We were at my house. What was the first? One? Our very first one we taped at my house and then we came here okay. to load it. Because okay. we were just, you know, oh, yeah, yeah, newbies yeah. and mm -hmm. we weren't sure. And was Amber here to help us maybe? hundred percent. Tech support. <laughs> <laughs> Anita's daughter Amber is our tech support. <laughs> mm -hmm. We love her. <laughs> so yeah, we came here and loaded it. And okay. there, there you it go. Is. Yeah. 
<laughs> friends for 14 years. Yeah. Yeah. And doing this for seven. It's unbelievable. Yeah. We've been doing floss tubes half <laughs> our friendship. That's weird. Right? <laughs> I remember when I went to her, uh, her house and I said, hey, you know, by chance you cross stitch? <laughs> you know, that's how it started. Yeah. And she's like, well, a long time ago. And I said, oh, yeah, me too. And it's just been fast forward yeah. ever since then. So uh, You were like inviting me into a whole new world of cross stitch that mm -hmm. I never knew existed. Mm -hmm. I'd never heard of floss tube before. Okay. I'd never heard of fancy floss before. I hadn't heard of stitching on linen or mm -hmm. even weave before. I'd only ever stitched on Ada. Right. And I mean, countless things that I could mention that I was just like, what? One, two, three, stitch. Yep. Never heard of that. Mm -mm. Didn't know we had a stitching shop in nope. Waverly. <laughs> like, nope. and then I had no clue. And then the concept of retreats. Oh, yeah. What? what? Wow. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I can't tell you. I was stitching the other night and just thinking about how far I've come, how mm -hmm. much I've learned, and how much I've grown as a stitcher. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Huge thanks to Anita bringing me back into that world that I loved so much. Right. But then... Such a great community. Oh my goodness, all oh. of you. Right. I've learned so much mm -hmm. from our stitchy friends. And yeah, mm -hmm. I'm just, I'm so grateful. So grateful. Grateful for your friendship. Grateful for everything that you mm -hmm. share and bring to our world. Thank you so much. Yes. All right. Let's get, uh, get some right. finishes. <laughs> we do have a few finishes. I have a couple. <laughs> I was like gathering all this stuff to come over and I'm like, I have a lot of stuff to show. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> I have a lot of frogging that I can show, but I'm so irritated. <laughs> I'm not bringing those two projects out so no. But I'll stay, okay. I'll stay with the positive. Yeah. So uh, here is Peppermint Polar Bear by Artful Offerings. This is what the package looks so like. So cute. And then this is what I ended up with. So. So cute. Yep. Yeah. So I went around the bear with the same color as his nose just to try to tie it in a little bit better. And then I put a blue sweater on him. Uh, just so it would stand out a little bit more on the uh, beige fa fabric. Let's see the pattern again so we can mm -hmm. compare. Okay. okay, so his sweater was ecru right. or cream of some sort. Mm -hmm. If I had had a fabric that color, I would have done it. Yeah. In that color, but I, I seriously have shades of beige. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> that is your life. I got beige, light beige, dark beige. <laughs> Then we go into tan, oh. then different shades of a crew, a crew in beige, a crew in beige and tan. Like that, that's you that's like it. the warmth of those colors. I must, I must. Yeah, it's okay. Um, second finish, and this took a little bit of time for me. It is from the 1998 Christmas Ornaments Edition, and. This will be finished for my daughter. So this marks the first year that she will have two boys uh, celebrating Christmas. Mm -hmm. So I changed the two upstairs here to two boys. And this is a pattern by Birds of a Feather. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which mm -hmm. we didn't realize was in this Christmas issue. We had no... We were so excited. I have wanted to stitch that forever. Mm -hmm. Had no clue until we did a little investigating, found out it was in a magazine, and then I think right. I had it. And then next, I also found in the 2000 special Christmas edition of Cross Stitch that looks like this is another one by Birds of a Feather called Christmas Heart. And that's it right up there. So if you have those two issues, take a look. <laughs> really exciting. So this is on my uh, to-do pile. I'm, I'm going to stitch that one up. We were talking earlier about how um, there are so many designers that we know and love that used to make Christmas ornaments for the issue, and, and we wish that they were still doing that. Mm -hmm. It would just be 
lovely to see some of those those designer stitching for just cross stitch again. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, I finished a Mill Hill kit, the sea turtle, and I actually made this one into the magnet so I can put it on the refrigerator to remind everybody a stitcher does live here. <laughs> Do you see any stitching as you look around? I do. You do? I'm looking at it right now. It's on the wall. Uh -uh. Yes, right above your TV. Oh, <laughs> she's looking in the sunroom. <laughs> okay, okay, there is one. Uh huh. There is there one. Is. But, so, but I mean, they're doing some home done. some homework around here, doing some painting on the walls and stuff. So it's it's not surprising we don't see a ton up right now. <laughs> She's being hard on herself. And then here's uh, Mill Hill Coffee. Oh, I love that finish. Yeah. <gasps> and so that's done. That's cute. So what's happened is, is that I'm kind of in a finishing mood um, because my FO drawer is getting hard to close. <laughs> so I said, okay, I, I got to start doing something with this. And so I actually, oh, sorry. It's okay. I'm over here. I actually pulled out about 10 projects and this is where I'm starting. So for example, this will be a mattress finish, hands-on design. I've got all the pieces in there. A little bit. Here I've got, I'm just giving you an over, a little bit. Uh, Myrtle Grace Motifs, Mavis the Merry Moose. <laughs> Look at how adorable. <laughs> so adorable. Did it years ago. And so it's gonna go into this Altoid tin. Cute. I've got one of the Stacy Nash animal crackers. All it needs is a seam at the bottom. <laughs> That's all it needs. <laughs> a little bit of sewing on it. Uh, what else? I've got uh, just hoop finishes. Here is something. I believe this is from Colonial Designs, maybe. So it came with the box. There's the stitching that goes on the top. I think, is it? Yeah. Sweet. So just an assortment that I have just pulled out and said, okay, you know, I need to get these done. So let's see anything. Yeah. Oh, it's all here. It's all it's here. So much. <laughs> but this is this is phase one. Bravo this you. Is phase uh, one. Bravo. So yeah. So there's my finishes and my You're to in, get process some in process fully yeah. finish. Right. Mm -hmm. Is all right. Okay. Well, I <laughs> well. Let me find the bag that has all the goodness in it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. When you're in a new space, right? All of a sudden, it took us quite a while to figure out the camera and I still think it's a little bit high but it's I think it's we've, great. we've got a stack of like blocks just trying to get it <laughs> it's perfect it's perfect so I too mm -hmm. stitched the um twas the night twas the night before Christmas by mm -hmm. um birds of a feather I stitched mine on even weave it's a 32 count uh, maybe like light beige. I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> beige. <laughs> it's... There you go. And I did not put the date on mine. I kind of went a little um, nostalgic on mine. Um, I put um, I I made mine to represent my sister and I. So this is me and my sister. And oh my god! And then I just thought I don't need to put a date on it, so I just filled in some more snowflakes. I love it. Mm -hmm. I love how it turned out. It's so cute. Mm -hmm. Just makes me so happy. And then I decided, uh, I think I just need to stitch this a couple more times because I would like to give it to my mom and my sister. <laughs> so two more times. Two more times. But it was a joy, and it was a quick. I feel like it was a quick stitch, really. Once I got my colors picked out and things, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very fun. Love it, love it. Highly recommend it. <clears throat> oh, since we last spoke, I don't think I showed you this. I think we talked about it. It was like, I just need to knock this out, I think. 
if I remember correctly. So if not, you could just see it again. <laughs> Greetings, my Blackbird Designs. This is one of my five starts for my birthday. And here it is all finished up. And I absolutely mm -hmm. love it. It's so nice. It's so lovely. That is from the book Peppermint and Holly by Blackbird. So many great designs in here. This one is definitely a huge favorite. Mm -hmm. So super excited about that to have that finished. And I don't know how long this ago this was. Probably it was probably like early September. I just got on a kick that I just needed to stitch Quincy by Stacey Nash. Mm -hmm. And so I just whipped that little pupper out. <laughs> Cause really that it's just his head. Mm -hmm. So there he is. This is Weeks Dye Works um, 36 Count Beige. He's such a cutie patootie. I love him. So I need to do some finishing work myself, which I am always, it's same. It's you hard. know, it just, yeah. It's definitely the difference between a process and a product stitcher. You know, we just enjoy the process. Throw in a drawer, we're good. And... Uh, I know product stitchers, like the moment they get it stitched, they are off and running. Like they're either mailing it to have it finished or like they're finishing it themselves like pronto. Mm -hmm. And uh, I wish I was a little bit more like that. I do too. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I would love to be able to afford to send it off to people <laughs> to finish for me. That would be ideal. Um, although I <laughs> can't afford that. But um my dear friend Kathy did, t when we went on a retreat mm -hmm. in September with friends, and um, my friend Kathy took home, I don't know, maybe four different pieces that I had finished to sew them up into pillows. And I was so grateful for that, hugely. I don't have them here to show you because it's been so stinking windy, and I have fresh sawdust to stuff with them with, but it's just gonna blow everywhere right now. Out, and I have to do it outside because my husband has terrible allergies. So I'm waiting for a non-windy day. Anywho, so I will have those to show you hopefully soon. I have a Mill Hill to show you that's finished and I'm so excited about it. So Anita showed you her turtle that she turned into a magnet. A lot of these, um, are like for magnets or pins. Um, the one that I, this was a start and a finish. So I just love this little lady. I love angels. Mm -hmm. um, this was a holiday pins, um, heavenly angel. And I wanted mine to be on the tree. So I finished it into an ornament. So here she is, mm -hmm. she pretty? And then I decided I just wanted to back her. I had this cording already at home that I'd gotten from Walmart one year for um, at Christmas time. It was like 97 cents cheap. And then I just happened to have this angelic pad of scrapbook paper and so, or like cardstock. And so I chose, um, this was just a snowflake one in the pack. And so I backed it with some cardstock and then just snipped around it. And here we go. Ready for my tree. I love her. So there you go. There's a fully finish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm excited about that. Yeah, it looks good. Such a sweet little sweetheart. Mm -hmm. So there she is. And then I, um, I love a new creation studio. <clears throat> Um, beautiful. She just has some really beautiful designs and I have always loved this one. This picture is horrible because I bought PDFs and my printer is kind of yuck. But this is what it would, this is what it looks like. New Creation Studio on Etsy. Love has come. It's such a precious mm -hmm. little piece. And yeah, so, they'll see how, how beautiful it is. Yeah, it's so pretty. And I'm stitch. <laughs> You can see I've already started to stitch it again because I've got another one now below it. But there it is. Mm -hmm. I had this um, 28 count dwarf by Picture This Plus. And I just thought that was a really pretty blue 
for for this. Are you doing it with one thread or two? Two threads. Two threads. Mm -hmm. Two threads. And the loop method, because man, oh. that has changed my world. Another thing I've learned along the way. This, okay. Oh, so what? Anita, I forgot <laughs> to ask you if you had this nearby. Oh. Um, so Anita had taken um, this pattern, Butterfly Garden by mm -hmm. um, Blackbird, and had turned it into, if you remember, she had the little stand with the little sign that flipped that she found. And she uses it as a um, a nameplate mm -hmm. at, at her retreats. seat when yep. she goes to retreats. And I knew that I wanted to do the same thing, but then also put a piece on the back side as well. So here I am. I have my mm -hmm. name part is here. Mm -hmm. And then this is the back, yep. which was the top of the design here. So Perfect. I just need to finish that, mm -hmm. but I love it. It's so pretty and it was a fun, a You need fun a finishing stitch. box. I know. Like this is the, so I, ha I have one. First phase, <laughs> do have one. Uh, it's um, drums and spools. Exciting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot to bring my picture of this one. I don't see it tucked in here. Oh, fiddle. But I did share this on Instagram. So this is the artsy housewife. You got this. Isn't he just the cutest? I just kind of was like, uh, after Quincy, I was like, I want to do all the owls. Right. I just want to do all of them. <laughs> so I whipped out this cutie patootie. Yep. Love, love, love. That was really fun to stitch. And this blue, the this light blue, I'm just in love with can't remember what it is it's a it's a classic color works so that pretty. pretty so pretty mm -hmm. so that one was a blast and the pièce de résistance from mm. oh yeah, yeah. remember yep. another um piece that i um we've done a few pieces from this mm. Mm -hmm. look on the back Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's one. That is one. Mm -hmm. So this one is another birthday start for me. And it is a Heart Remembers. Now you had five starts. So this is two finishes or no. this is make three? Three. So, um, oh my goodness. That just spoke to me the second I flipped this book mm -hmm. open, I was like, oh, I have to stitch that. And so I did. So, and I was trying to figure out how I wanted to personalize it because the piece has initials and a date. And, um, well, I'll show you first. Let me show you. Here's my finish. Probably one of my favorite finishes of all time. It's beautiful. It is absolutely mm -hmm. stunning. Mm -hmm. So you'll see the, the MC and the CM. Those were my parents' initials, and then I put their wedding date, 1970, mm -hmm. um, as a remembrance of them, because even though they divorced, um, they didn't divorce until I was in my early, I was probably around 20, 21, and so, I mean, we spent a lot of life together mm -hmm. as a family, and I just wanted to honor their marriage and the goodness of that came from that. And of course my sister and I are products of that. And um, yeah, it was just kind of a special remembrance of, of them. So, and I thought it was so cool. I'd never thought about it before that my mom's initials and my dad's initials are MC. Until you had to chart them. Until, and yeah. Like, and then I was this. like, <laughs> oh my gosh, how cool is that? Yeah. yeah. It's good. So it's really precious. I thought it was so hilarious at our, at the retreat that we went to. Um, our friend Charlene loved it so much she stuffed it down her shirt to take home. <laughs> <laughs> right? Bless her heart. But that's how it's it's a stunner. Well, I I remember you years ago at a retreat and you had an exchange <laughs> and you're like bye bye and she just danced her way right out of the room like she's like Ooh. um yeah because it was one of those where you could steal you know like it right. was a. 
Yeah, and I knew someone was gonna steal it. So I was like, I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> just bolted out of the room. <laughs> See ya! Yep. And I circled back in, and of course it got stolen. <laughs> but whatever. I loved what I got, yep. so. Anyway. Anyway, those are my finishes. Can mm -hmm. you believe it? Holy cow! Yeah, you've been on a roll. I've been just mm -hmm. rocking and rolling with this stuff. So I'm super excited about it. And yeah, clearly I've got some hardcore finishing to do. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So I do have a couple things. Well, I have two projects that I've been frogging a bit. <laughs> but I do have a not too much. So this ornament is from the 2011 issue. I just cross-stitch. And oh, there it is. It's called Yule Tide down here by Plum Street. And that's where I'm at. Love it. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting because um, I, when I, I was looking for other ornaments to do as well, and I found in the 2010 issue, a year earlier, I found another Plum Street, and that's going to get done too. And it's this one right here. Well, there's quite a few here. <laughs> <laughs> there are. Yeah, this is a, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, you want to stitch all the things, but, you know, that's hard to do. And but dig out those old issues of those magazines, because there's some treasure right. in there. There oh, are. Just treasure. Yep. Yep, there are. And then the simple things is one of my birthday starts. And I am so close to getting this done. So I've got the majority of it stitched. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. And so now I just need to do those little itty bitty one over one words. And what I ended up doing was kind of recharting it a little bit, uh, moving some of the words around so I could add the word gratitude. So mm -hmm. uh, I will have this done before what words we meet are, again. What words are on it? Oh, uh, grace, love, patience, faith, hope. And wisdom. So I love that addition of gratitude. I was adding the gratitude. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Love it. So, oh, and I do have, I don't think I shared this last time. No, I don't I think don't so remember. either. But I do have an FFO, a Sir Dandy. I love him. By Hands to Work. And I did the saying in the center using the alphabet that was provided. So. I just looked at mine this morning and I was like, oh, I love him. <laughs> I need to get him framed. Right? Oh. Oh, such so, a cutie. Yeah. Any more whips? Mm, well. The ones that we I'm shall not pointing, speak like, of. I have a lot of whips. I'll, I'll have so I'll have <laughs> I will have a lot more to share next time <laughs> without the angst involved. <laughs> I love it. So okay. Oh my goodness! So many whips. So when I went down that owl um, craze, I guess you could call it. <laughs> I pulled out my Una Owl that I've had for a long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I gave this to my husband to give me for Christmas and I already had all the threads in it. Um, so, Una. It's interesting, it's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Well, and usually I'm, it's a lot smaller. You know, right, when I, I look at things, right. I go, it's a lot smaller, but when you look at the pattern, there is a lot of detail there. Oh and the my. frame is quite a bit higher than the owl. Indeed. Mm -hmm. And holy cow, this owl takes some serious concentration. There's just a lot of confetti color in there. And so I found that if it was nighttime and I was getting tired, it was not a good time to Couldn't. stitch this. Um, but I love it. It's so beautiful. I really, really love it. This is on, um, this is Lugana. 
I think it's vellum. You've been stitching a bit on Lugana. <sighs> I love it. Mm -hmm. I love Lugana, but I like... The coverage. I love the coverage. Mm -hmm. I use one thread um, because it's Picture This Plus. In Picture This Plus, it's kind of, it gets kind of shrunk down and tight, which I love. Mm -hmm. I don't like um, see-through-y fabrics. I really like a tight um, weave. And so Picture This Plus is just does that for me. So, and I love 32 count even weaves. So this is a 32 count vellum and I love it. It's just, it's great. So there's that. And then, you know, why not keep going with the owl craze? So oh, I started this uh -huh. one from Summer House Stitch Works. You had Sophia. this for a while. I have. Oh. I'm, I've been kind of just looking at my stash mm -hmm. of stuff that I'm like, why haven't I started that yet? And the colors. This is called um, Sophia, a Baltimore Bride. Um, and yeah, the colors. Summer House, Summer House Stitch Works. Mm -hmm. And so I started this on a piece of 36 count parchment by Weeks, and this is the old, the older Weeks. But I just thought this golden color was so great. It's nice to stitch in hand though. Yes, it really mm -hmm. is. And I I love, I mean, I, I stitch in hand all the time. And now that I can do the stitching method, which has just rocked my world, I love it so much. Oh, the loop method? No, oh. the, the oh, stitching the method. Oh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. you're on top of the right, fabric. The sewing method, yep. Or the sewing yep. method. Did mm -hmm. I say stitching method? Sewing yep. method, yes. I love being on top of the fabric, it's made my stitching so much more enjoyable because I was poking and stabbing and that just gets old after a while and it takes forever. And so I find that I stitch more quickly mm. with the sewing method, I love it. So there are all my owls to show you. And next for Sampler September, I forgot my cover for this one too. I decided to start um, oh, yeah. Forever Young. Um, this is a heartstring samplery piece. And so I'm stitching this on 40 count fresco by um, Picture This Plus. This is what I have done so far. So just, just to dabble at the top. Mm -hmm. And this one's tiny compared to what I thought it would be. Yeah. It's, because it's very stitch heavy, a lot of words, you know. A lot of words. Um, the words are so good. It's so, I have always loved this piece. Yeah. I wish I had, had the picture to show you, but it's the song by Bob Dylan, Forever Young. Yeah, so when she said she had made it to the end, I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> You're like halfway. And she's like, no, that is the end. That's I was it. Like, okay. But remember, it's 40 count picture this plus, which like, stitches even smaller than a 40. According to my grandson, okie dokie, artichoke. <laughs> He's the cutest. So that was my start for Sampler September, and then I kind of just, I didn't do much more on it. After I, mm -hmm. I worked on this at our retreat with friends, and then I, yeah, I pretty much just didn't go back to it. But I will, because mm -hmm. I love it. Colors are amazing. Um, and then I worked on this birthday start. Um, this one's called Friendship Gathering. This will be, this will be I, number four if you get this done. Oh, I do have a picture on my working copy. Okay, let me pull it out here. Mm. I just like a working copy because I clip it to my lamp. And, um, you know, I'm going back and forth to look at colors. And I just, it gets wrinkly. And it's just kind of nice to have a working copy. So this is... Um, well, and the booklets are too heavy. Yeah, they are. They They're won't, too heavy. They won't hold in my mm -hmm. little clippity doo -dah. So um, this is Friendship Gathering by Blackbird Designs. Been in love with this piece for a million years. So it was a good time to start it for my birthday. So I worked on this a little bit more with Anita, actually. She came over mm -hmm. to the stitch with me and we I worked on this. I love it. You will have that done by your birthday. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know. I haven't touched this since I worked on it with you. <laughs> I've just been working on so many different things. So, yeah. But I love it. I love those colors and the flowers. I don't 
It just makes me happy. Yeah, it's interesting because she and I are so different. She she wants to start all the things, and she does. And that just gives me so much anxiety. Like She's like, you just got that pattern. How could you not have started it? And I'm like, well, I don't know. So, like... I always refer back to my little my little book and I'm like, okay, wait a minute, you know, okay, what, what do I need to get done? So like I entered 24 with like 24 starts and I'm, I'm like, oh, that's too many. So then every time I add, like I'm constantly trying to like knock down that number. Which I so while admire. While I'm adding. Right. I very much admire <laughs> But there are, there's like five projects right now. Ooh, I, I mean, I really want to start them, but. Yeah, ooh. I know I'm a bit of a serial starter. Ooh. Yes. Speaking of which, this is this next whip. Anita hasn't seen. This is one that she recently told me I should not start. <laughs> and I did it anyway. <laughs> Myself. It's beautiful, and I've made phenomenal progress. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is. Let me find the... Okay. So it's Holly and Hearts by Lizzie Kate. This It was a mystery sal back in the day. Mm -hmm. I don't remember the date when she did this. Um, but this is the what the finished piece looks like. Isn't that pretty? I just... I don't know. I just, I was just in the mood. I just, mm -hmm. I wanted to do it. Yeah, and she reminds me, she's like, you've got it. Let's sell. Let's yeah, do it let's do it together. Like, he was like, no. <laughs> no. And I was like, well, I think I want to start. No. No. <laughs> yeah, I did it anyway. So here I am. Mm -hmm. I'm here. Let me kind of pull this over. So you can, I'm sorry, my stuff is so wrinkly because it's, you know, it's in my hand and then it's in a bag and. And I just don't iron it ahead of time because I think, why should I do that? Because I'm just going to wad it up in my hand after mm -hmm. I show it to you. So This I... is a small count. Ah. Uh, I can't remember if it's 30. I think it's, mm -mm. it's 40. 40. Mm -hmm. I think it's 40. Yeah. Such a, so see, I've got the first section done. Moving into sec, well, mostly done. I just, I have some satin stitches to do right here. And I just thought, oh, I don't want those wadded up in my hand while I keep going. Mm -hmm. So um, I, I'll go back and do those. But yeah, it's really pretty and it's fun. Look at that progress. I'm like, I'm near half done. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, just, yeah, it's lovely. I've, I've been enjoying it while I watch Hallmark Christmas movies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I've also been watching Floss Tube, guys. Yeah. Finally, I've been watching again. I took a long hiatus. I don't know why. I just, I guess I just had a need for Hallmark. Mm -hmm. Just the cheer of Hallmark. And so, yeah, I've been watching a lot of Floss Tube and I'm so excited about it. Yeah, I finally, for the first time in a long time, long, long time, years, have a TV night. And it's Thursday nights. <laughs> and my husband knows, like, I'm like, no, I'm not going anywhere, doing anything, nothing. Like, yeah. this is it. It's TV night. So they have a new show, Matlock and uh, Elsbeth. And I just love both of them. I just, yeah. Mm -hmm. They, they that, that's, that's, that's my liking. That's what I like. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, so I watched it the one time. I'm like, okay, I kind of want to watch these again. But then... You break into that whole Paramount, Hulu, you know. Yes. And, and then I, I'm like, okay, now I don't know what to do. Right, <laughs> right. So I am like laser focused the one time I know I can watch it because yeah. I know I can't rewatch it. So. Yeah. Unless you have all of these umpteen mm -hmm. channels that you pay for. Right, right. <sighs> okay, just a couple more. I'm almost <laughs> <laughs> I okay in September I bought this piece I was just in a mood for Silver Creek samplers mm -hmm. I have some at home I was just in the mood to stitch mm -hmm. one but I decided to buy one <laughs> yeah we talked about it and I'm like I, I, but I get it like you know it's not just like you want to stitch all the things it's also just having that experience with all the designers yeah, too like right. something you haven't stitched before right. 
And this one, I don't know, this one just spoke to me as soon as it came out. And I just, it's so pretty and it, I love what it says. So it's called Lighting the Way by um, Silver Creek Samplers. And it says, um, always be a lighthouse, shine your beacon bright, guide every soul adrift at sea throughout their darkest night. And I know I need people to be a lighthouse for me. And I really try hard to be a lighthouse for others. So I just, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I just love it. And I, I wanted to stitch it. And I just felt like I had the perfect fabric, the fabric for it. For it. Mm -hmm. I had this fabric. I bought this a long time ago at the Stitchery Nook. And I was like, this is a perfect piece of fabric. And I... It was beautiful. Like the modeling and everything on this whole... The whole piece. piece is just perfect. It's absolutely perfect. But I had no clue what I was going to stitch on it. And I did buy something and then I was just like, no, I don't really want to do mm -hmm. that. And so it's just been kind of waiting for me. This is, I'm trying to remember what it's called. It is, um, oh, it's a, it's 32 count linen. Um, it's Mirage by Picture This Plus. And it is such a stormy fabric. Oh, it's perfect for this design. Right? How cool is that? Mm -hmm. And I'm not a huge Halloween. I don't stitch a lot of Halloween stuff. Although I do have some Halloween things I could stitch and they're mm -hmm. cute. I just don't tend to be as drawn to those as other things. So look at how the light is shining on that. Isn't that great? Well, I know for me, like fall stitching encompasses a few months you know like, yeah whereas uh holiday specific stitching you know it, you're, you're focused on one day and i kind of like seasonal yeah because of that yeah so there's that one because i just i was in the mood one day and so i just did it i'm gonna have some starts next time i, I feel like <laughs> you don't have to be like me you need to do what makes you happy. Um, oh, I love oh, this. I love this book. I love this Everything book. Everything in it. Right? Everything in it. It's called When the Leaves Fall. Yep. It's a Blackbird Designs. And I felt led to this one, too, also for Sampler September. It's the one pictured on the mm -hmm. back. A token of love. I Isn't that just the most precious little fall sampler? So yeah. sweet. I had decided if I, if and when I ever get to that, I will stitch it, but without the border. The border's kind of fun. It's acorns. Mm -hmm. So I've gotten that far. Love it. Um, Yeah, it's just a delightful stitch, of course, because everything Blackbird is. <laughs> this is on the same fabric that I did greetings on. It's a, um, I think it's called Caramel by seraphim and it's yeah it's 40 count mm -hmm. super pretty mm -hmm. mm. love it and i thought it was the perfect perfect to go with this with these threads okay i should have made these pretty before i held these up but just to give you an idea of the palette mm -hmm. gosh it's so lovely i that green in there isn't that Is great that... yeah yeah <laughs> Yeah. So Stormy night. <laughs> Stormy night. Beautiful. Stormy night is mm -hmm. a, such a cool color because it can look blue, but like in my, um, in that finished piece that I showed you um, in honor of my parents, it's almost kind of a tealy, it kind mm -hmm. of has almost a tealy green color to it. It's, it's a unique, unique color. I love it. And then I'm at the end here, folks. I'm at the end. Oh. I have just been wanting to stitch Mill Hill. I've just been on a, a Mill Hill. They're fun. I know. Mm -hmm. They're such a blast. I've got actually a whole travel container. And that's all it is. It's just Mill Hills Mill in Hills. there. I need more. Here's mm -hmm. the kicker. I have been wanting these so bad. And they're old. They're not new ones. So they're not really easy to find. But it's all of the charmed Santa faces. This one is, is it Santa Noel? Yeah, 
Santa Noel. Isn't he just the cutest? Oh my word. And the funny thing is, is that I was looking for something else the other day and he jumped out <laughs> of my stuff. He kind of flew out and I was like, oh, I have him? I had totally right. forgotten, mm -hmm. totally forgotten. And I was so excited because I want more of these so mm -hmm. badly. Um, so when I opened the bag, I don't even, I did not even remember this. You'd already stitched it. I'd already stitched the hat. Oh, and I remember no, when tricky. I stitched this, I, I don't remember stitching this, but when I looked at it, I remember thinking to myself that when I opened the package, I was like, oh, I didn't realize mm -hmm. the hat was a separate piece. I thought it was all one piece on one piece of, mm -hmm. of perforated paper, but no. Um, the hat is a separate piece that you attach. And I, so I remembered having that thought, but I don't remember stitching it. So anyway, here's the cutie little hat. So then I was like, well, sheesh, he just needs a head. <laughs> so I did this last night. I just whipped that out last night. That's the great thing about them. They're so quick mm -hmm. and so much fun. I just, I don't have a whole lot of stitch left. It's just, It'll be beating on this too. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've got his face I need to do, but oh my goodness, such a delight. So yeah, I've just been on a kick. I absolutely love Mill Hill. They are so much fun to stitch. Mm -hmm. I want to do them all. <laughs> just want to do them all. Okay. And then speaking of that, speaking of Mill Hill, that's the end of my like whips. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to show something to you. So this was a purchase that I made, another Mill Hill. Um, this is um, Owl Gnome. And that's a bigger one too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I I um, had already purchased, which one was it? Evergreen gnome. He's got he's got an evergreen on his head with cute little birds. Mm -hmm. And I'd already started him, but I, I when I started him, I remember feeling super frustrated because the threads were so close together in color. They were so similar and they're not labeled or on a thread card or anything. So you don't know for sure. Like, is this really light gray? Is this light gray? Is this light beige? Is it, you know, mm -hmm. like it, I couldn't figure it out. And so as soon as I got this one and brought it home, I remembered I had some floss tags. Mm. I've never really gotten into floss tags that much just because I tend to just organize my thread with the hole that's already on the card um, or with floss bags for my DMC. But I immediately thought I had these and I was like, that's what I need to do. I need to organize these threads. And so I had these really nice floss cards and I just separated all the colors so that, see how- You're good to go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cause I, it's just gonna make a world of difference, but look how close those are. Those are two different colors and mm -hmm. they're so close together. So for kits like that, I definitely needed the floss cards. So just a tip for you, if you have the same trouble as I do, do this. It'll help save you some time later. All right. I'll stop talking now. <laughs> I've been talking for a long time. So just we're gonna uh we have an idea to celebrate our seven year floss anniversary and we uh yeah the it came to us yesterday. And so we didn't have time. Like ideally we would have started a project today. Um uh, but just you know by November. Let's let's do it like by November 1st, we're gonna start and just focusing on friendship. And so I called and we talked and I said, okay, let's find those patterns that have friend, friendship on it. <laughs> Crickets over here. I <laughs> dug and dug and dug. Like I'm like, what, what? I mean, I own patterns, don't get me wrong. <laughs> And, and she started, my, my phone, bing, 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 like all these she's got. And I'm like, are you kidding? Like, 
And I'm still, I'm like, Ding. you know, I'm like, I, I can't find anything. She eventually texts me. It's like, I'm still looking. <laughs> I had, uh, what, what do I, I don't even know what I have at this point. Like, I was like, so anyway, um, so, uh, but we do have a little bit that we can share with you. Some ideas if you two want to join in and uh, the focus is on friendship. Yeah. Um. So I had found, I did find one <laughs> friendly blooms by October House for a friend, and then I also found a freebie on the Annie B's folk art site. So just uh, go to her site and let's see. I'm not, I don't I know it's free, but I'm I'm still not comfortable. But it does say like forever friends and there's this cute little motif in the center and then a place for you to put a date. So um, that would be a really nice idea. Annie B's folk art. And then. <laughs> this is what I dug up in my stash. So um, this one is called A Friend Loveth. It's by Plum Street, but I'm going to turn it sideways so you can see what that looks like. There's that one. Love that one. I've stitched it once before mm -hmm. and gave it away. And I just, oh, I've love it. I've wanted to do it ever since. Mm -hmm. yep. Now, this one I love, too. Yes. Mm -hmm. This one is called True Friendship. It's Pat Sampler. And it's from Plum Street. Mm -hmm. So cute. Um, This would be a quickie. And, and we so both have sweet. this one. Yeah. I, I do have this one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is Caring and Sharing from Little House. Which, for the season right now, it's really perfect. Be, right. Mm -hmm. And you can change the colors of the dresses if you'd like, you know, also. Yeah, it's totally alterable. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't have to have them. They could be holding something else other than a pumpkin, too. Make it if, a tomato. Make it an right. apple. Yep. Yeah. Um, and then I found this one, which has nothing to do with friendship. And yet it does, just in the way that it's pictured. It's super sweet. It's called Peace. It's an ornament by Little House Needleworks. Um Two, could be two friends, two sisters holding a heart. So sweet. And then, of course, gosh, I love these little guys. I really need to stitch these. This one is also by Little House Needleworks. It is from the Little Sheep Virtues. This one is Friendship. So sweet. And then I found this one. I must have bought this on um, Stash Unload at one point. Um, this one is called The Friendship Tree by Bent Creek. <laughs> and it even has the specialty floss in there. In there. Cute. And I have the button in there as well. Oh, this one I love mm -hmm. so much. It overwhelms me a little bit, though, because it's a lot of stitching. And I think I've got too many irons in the fire <laughs> right it's, now. It's four big houses. But it, you know what? On 40 count, it only stitches up to like 8 by 10. Like, <laughs> imagine an 8 by 10 piece of paper. This is Jenny Bean and Friends. Like, cute. And I have seen uh, okay, stitchers okay. online on Instagram uh, stitching and finishing this, and it yes. is beautiful. Beautiful. I so, I will stitch that mm -hmm. someday. And then this one, um, the motifs have nothing to do with friendship, but I love, it's called Around My mm -hmm. Friends. And it was designed by friends, um, Summer House Stitch Works, Ink Circles, and Hands On Design. So they made these adorable rounds for acorns and threads. And I was look, lucky enough to get this. Um, but I, that's just fun for the season also. Mm -hmm. and, and it can... It, surely be stitched in honor of friendship in friendship's way has so many beautiful mm -hmm. charts in there by blackbird also feast of friendship would be perfect um and i also have our lasting friendship by blackbird as well mm -hmm. which i couldn't find it quick enough to bring and then this one's called a stitcher's heart it's by tiny modernist um once again, doesn't talk about friendship, and yet I love the motifs pictured. Mm -hmm. I think it's really sweet, those two girls holding yep. stitching. So there are some possibilities of friendship stitches if yep. you want to join us in a cell. Yep. Just anything about friendship. Seven, well, seven years, Floss, and 14 Se years. 
14 years of friendship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What a gift you are. So, oh, it's all good. What do we have next? We have lens. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna start a few things. I'm just gonna say it right now. I, I don't know what I'm gonna start. I'm starting a few things. Oh, I do have one thing I know I'm gonna start. So uh, this is Garden Time Sewing Bag by Nikki's Creation. I've had this a long time. I bought this at a, a Needlework Galleria in 20, oh, it might even have the year, 2018 maybe? Mm. And um, and so there's the design. So sweet. And I have the fabric uh, to make it into the bag. It's a cute banding. So mm -hmm. there's a sweet, yep. like, it's almost like a hem stitch. Mm -hmm. And so um, I have been looking for a project to remember Daylene Wilson. Uh, so grateful and so I would like to stitch this. The only th change I'm gonna make is there's a bunny in the corner and I need to find a, a little chicken to put there instead. Or a dog. True, true. Oh, that would be easier to find. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> and then and then just it just makes me also mm -hmm. think about my collection and the collection she had as well. So, um, so that will be a start. I love that. And then... Um, yeah, there will be other starts. <laughs> but there has to be finishes too. I kind of, um, I kind of have, I know, I just said that that piece was overwhelming. <laughs> I'm going to tell you this, you're going to be like, seriously. I am itching to start. <laughs> Don't say it. Christmas at Hawk Run Hollow. <laughs> I didn't bring it with she me. She said it. <laughs> I said it out loud. She said it. I did. Yeah, I she just... brought that in too. She goes, I don't know. It's just calling to me. And I'm like, no, it's not. No, it's not. It's not calling. No, I, you, mm -mm. Da, 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 da. <laughs> it's calling. I've been gathering threads for it, all of the DMC. Mm. Um, I have fabric. I've got 40 count flax ready to go. I think I want to do it. Because <laughs> I keep thinking, you know, like if you do just a block a month, like people do. If I start now, I would have it done by next year. Right. You know. Yeah. And some of the blocks are really stitch heavy and others are. Right. Yeah. Some are not. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm I'm toying with the idea. <laughs> and you have the fabric. I do. Yeah, she's got she's good to go. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Do I need to start it? <laughs> no. You gotta focus on the birthday starts. Your birthday's coming up in December. I know, but I kind of I, I don't feel I only have two left. One is Oh Joyous Day and then the friendship gathering mm -hmm. that I showed you. And I'm kind of okay with those overlapping. Mm -hmm. Part of it, Oh Joyous Day is so much fun to stitch. It is fun. It is so it fun. Is fun. Yep, I agree. Do you ever feel like, it's kind of like when you finish an amazing book and you put it down and you're like depressed because mm -hmm. you don't want it to be over? It's kind of how I feel about Oh Joyous Day. Mm -hmm. I don't want it to be over. But saying that out loud sounds a little ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> so well, I might need to finish it. Hey, yeah. Uh, Shine Sparkle Holly on Instagram, Shine Sparkle and Nita on Instagram. You can check out what direction we go <laughs> there in terms of our, our friendship. Yeah. So, yes, we will and, share. Uh, we've got some purchases that we're going to share. Mm -hmm. And uh, so if that's not your, your thing, we're so glad you joined us. But <laughs> so we've glad. got some good stuff to show you. <laughs> had happy mail in a long time and I got two packages in the same week and I it just overjoyed and it me too just, I remember that <laughs> feeling and I was like I need packages to come to the house every day <laughs> right. it's so good it's so oh, good it's so I don't have packages coming to my house I'm just living vicariously uh, through my friend oh my so gosh. I'm excited for her <laughs> uh, I, yeah 
<laughs> so, uh, okay, so really quickly, uh, so much to love. There's her information. Karen uh, has a whole section of sidekicks, which is this size, so um, cute. for $10. And um, I found some patterns for bags that I already own her standard size. So I bought those to match. This is how they come. And it will, just, just the sweetest. Just the sweetest. And I mm -hmm. find, uh, not only can I put like my, my little bits and bobbles in here with the kits, but it is just the right size for a mill hill. Mm -hmm. And then just finding other uses for it too. So, um, you know, hand wipe like in the car, I keep hand wipes and the two um, floss and things like that. This would be the perfect size for something like that. And then my other package, Colorado cross stitch. <laughs> sherry, Sherry, Sherry. Thank you so much, Sherry. Oh yeah, <laughs> she she has. Birds of a feather. I'm so excited. So excited. I, I was actually at her house when we got the the, uh, the email. Letter. Yeah, the newsletter. And I was like, oh, oh, yeah. And, and she's I, reading I, it, and I'm like, I'm about to cry, and she's worried. She's like, it What's wasn't like, on? oh, oh, it was like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what is happening? What is everything okay? Like I was, I was getting really worried, and then yeah. I'm like. She's getting teary-eyed. And, <laughs> and I, I'm like, are you crying? Yeah, two of my unicorns right here. And I, I told her, I, said, I can't talk right now. I got an order. Like, I, mean, <laughs> I right there on the spot. I'm like, just hang on. I got to go get my purse out of the car. Like, I, I got to do this now. And so... <laughs> she did. It was immediate. The Happy Heart Sampler. That has been your unicorn for yep. a really long time. Uh, we have the Christmas Angel Ornaments. Mm, 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 mm. And a Joyous Christmas. I have no words. I I have wanted all the black or the blackbird, all of the birds of a feather forever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And now to have them be accessible, that we can actually stitch them. Mm -hmm. Go to her site. Uh, she, she can explain it a lot better than I can. <laughs> because truthfully, I didn't really quite read the whole email. <laughs> I just skipped like every 10th word. And then I saw the photo. And so I, I just believe she's collaborating yes. with the family. I read it. <laughs> she can explain it yes and and so it's available currently th only through her shop yes eventually eventually i think maybe after the first year i think sherry said then it'll it'll then hoffman i think will be able to distribute but for right now it's just through sherry's shop yes mm -hmm. and she is collaborating with megan who was the third designer of birds of a feather and she has purchased rights to be able to reproduce the charts rechart it too yeah so mm -hmm. she's recharting them to make them easier to see a lot of them were just a single you know a single card like if you if like if you imagine just this as one piece of cardstock mm -hmm. and the pattern was on the back and it was tiny tiny they mm -hmm. are t you know the few that i have they're tiny so um, she's charting them to make them so much easier to see. Um, she just, yeah, she, she Sherry spent a very long time trying to find the family so that she could reach out to them and just mm -hmm. so they they have a great working relationship. I'm so we're grateful, mm -hmm. we're so grateful. Yeah, so a happy mail too in the same week. Um, then we were out thrifting and Holly found this and she goes, "This has your name on it," and I said. Oh, I'm so happy. And so it's a much older Mill Hill kit, Peace mm -hmm. on Earth. It has the buttons and everything in it. Isn't that awesome? Super excited. Um, and then these I can go through. I was at a quilt shop in Osage, and I looked over and they had these needle minders from Flamingo Toes. Huh. 
and there was a coffee one. Oh, cute. Had to do it. So cute. I ordered the Chessie and Me um, 1864 house sampler. And this has been a month. This is, I ordered this a couple months ago. I had a happy mail. I love that. So cute. That's I don't know really who sweet. it was. Somebody on Instagram showed their finish and I just stopped the video and ordered it. <laughs> I ordered the third in the Americana Mama series. Uh, Lady Rosie from Heartstring. Heartstring. And if anyone could help me find that beautiful fabric that she used, I I would really appreciate that because it matches perfectly the design. Mm -hmm. uh, Autumn Harvest, a jeweled pair. Another Mill Hill to go it's into not, my travel kit. Not the prettiest little pair you've ever seen. <laughs> I think this is another Chessie in me, isn't mm -hmm. it? I think. Mm -hmm. Liberty Inn. And it's got everything in there that I need. Yep. The silk flosses, the fabric. Mm -hmm. So I think this will probably sneak into my Mill Hill uh, bag. Because it's a good travel size. Mm -hmm. And I do think it's like 32 count, maybe. Mm. I don't know. Maybe 36. Mm-hmm. And then finally, I have Mrs. Bunny Tail <laughs> by Brenda Gervais. And this has like the robin and the blue eggs. And then it's got the bunny and then the ribbon. And I don't know why I've never seen this before. And I was at Osage at the Stitchery Nook. And I kept going back to it. And finally, I was like, okay. <laughs> I got to do it. So sweet. Mm -hmm. And... Yep. If you don't know, Anita loves robins. Mm -hmm. So that robin on the basket is just so perfect. Had to do it. Yeah. So the stitch can't, oh, I don't see it. I, I can't imagine. You know, I look at this and go, oh, that's going to be a bunny. It's going to be like <laughs> the wine bottle. But I bet it's going to be like this. I don't, I'm not yeah. sure. Yeah. 36 count. Well, I don't know. Whatever it is. It's darling. I'm doing it. Hmm. And then finally, okay, I had an incident about a month ago, and <laughs> I was an frogging, mm. and I don't know what happened, and bing, there went the needle. And here comes my husband. He, we've got the the <laughs> magnet. We we are the looking giant everywhere, <laughs> everywhere, and I'm raking the carpet. I and I, I'm like, that's it. So he's there, like, it's like a Geiger counter, it's trying huge. to find it. And I, I was like, and then I get online, I'm like, how much to re-carpet a sunroom? <laughs> like, I am not going to live. I was like, I need, that's it. Carpet's out. <laughs> We're done. Quit looking. I will have this fixed next week. Wear shoes when you're in the sunroom because there's a needle. <laughs> and I know by chance we found it. It must have traveled on one of us because it was all the way on the other side of the sunroom. And I've got a large sunroom. Yeah. And over by our um, like a little working office space. So our sunroom has the TV space. It's got a train uh, table mm -hmm. for my grandsons. Uh, I, it's a big we found the needle. <laughs> and so my husband was like, okay, who, you know, save a dollar there. We don't need the new carpet now. So then I was at Osage and I found the unstitcher. <laughs> Fix all your stitchy slip ups. And okay, I was so excited. I ripped that right open. But that's kind of what it looks like. <laughs> it kind of looks like a heart. And here it is. Part. So. There's the needle. So if I'm picking, whoop, it goes flying. Chances are really high I'm going to be able to find it pretty quickly. Love it. I am so excited. I am so excited mm -hmm. because that is one thing. I, I don't like lost needles. No. I, I have to know how many needles I have in play at all times. And um, a couple years ago, I had lost a needle at our place down in Florida. And it just happened to coincide with us 
removing the carpet anyway and laying hardwood. So I was like, okay, we're rolling the carpet today. <laughs> and we just roll that carpet up and off the needle went. So yeah, so when this happened again, my husband's like, what in the world? We've already done that. We've been down this road one time. So then look at that. So it's called the unstitcher there right you go. there. The oh. unstitcher, it's what we all need. Except that sometimes my needles, I'm not picking anything out. They just, I don't know what happens. <laughs> They've ended up in the bottom of my husband's foot more than once. <laughs> oh my gosh, no. I feel so bad. Uh, I know. Oh. Uh -uh. <laughs> mm, I know. Okay, so that's it for my purchases. All right. Well, I purchase-wise... Um, yeah, when Anita and I were at our favorite thrift shop, I mean, seriously, I was just like trying not to gasp out loud, but mm -hmm. I really wanted to. Yeah. So yeah. she showed hers that I found. And then look at this. This is Christmas Village. It's the um, St. Nicholas Cathedral with everything inside for you see that price tag a dollar, a dollar! can you believe it <laughs> a dollar this is like enough to make me cry i'm like oh, everything is in there even like mm -hmm. metallic stuff and yeah mm -hmm. all the needles all the things the buttons the beads Amazing. the whole oh a dollar that's when you leave mm -hmm. the thrift store going Yes. <laughs> Give me more. This is amazing. So being on my little um, Mill Hill kit, I did Mill Hill kit mm. desires. I I couldn't help it. I, <laughs> I bought this at Fiberworks. Holly Elf. I mean, seriously, her name is not spelled correctly. <laughs> <laughs> but I needed Holly Elf. Right. Because I'm Holly. I might even change her hair color <laughs> to that be, be a darker yep. brown color to, yeah. Cause you know. And a lot more of it. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Her hair is in braids. Um, and then I just love this little guy. He's so cute. And I was like, I am just going to grab him while I was there. So this is Sparkle. It's a little flare by um, Bent Creek. Just cute. And I almost, you know, I looked at him and I was like, I kind of want to use some of the colors from Twas the Night Before Christmas from Birds of a Feather with mm -hmm. him. Wouldn't that be cute to just brighten it up a little bit? Mm -hmm. Fun. So there's that. Then um, I also at Fiberworks, um, we just love to kind of gaze through. Carol has a half off box and then she's got some boxes of dollar patterns. And we just like to dig through sometimes. And I found this one. This is a piece that our friend Deb had stitched in the past. It's a Willow Hill Samplings. It's called Flora and Fauna. So pretty. It's just beautiful. And I remember she had asked our advice because this vase is upside down that that is holding oh, the I fruit. I remember that. Yeah, it's, it's upside down. And we're just like, why? I like, do remember that. Fruit yeah. is going to fall out of the bowl if it's upside down. Mm -hmm. And so our advice was to flip it right side up. And so mm -hmm. she did. She stitched it with, with it flipped up. Oh, I remember that. Yep. And so, yeah, I may do the same. Uh -huh. But it's so pretty. I just love that. So that was in the half off. I couldn't pass it up. So right now, Fiberworks is in Waverly, Iowa. And she's been there for over 30 years, Carol. Mm -hmm. And they're doing a lot of road construction. Uh, there's a, a, a bridge, a critical bridge, uh, that crosses right near the downtown area. And they've taken that down and it'll be replaced by next September, I think. Yeah. So in the meantime, it's a detour, but you know, it's worth, it's worth the it's, stop. It is. It's worth the detour. Mm -hmm. And we just feel concern because it's not as accessible to get to downtown no. during this whole construction process, which is really long. And 
And we went and there was ample parking and usually there's no parking. Mm -hmm. And and so just, you know, supporting our, our shops. Yeah, yeah, we just felt concerned for those businesses. So All of if, them. Mm -hmm. if you're in Iowa and... <laughs> Please go, go because yeah, we want to, we want to keep our, we want to keep our shops going. So while we were at our retreat at the um, Citri Nook with friends, I just love to dig in all the bargain bins because, you know, who doesn't love a bargain and I'm cheap. <laughs> so I pretty much just bought Christmas stuff because what, I don't know what it is about Christmas stitches, but I just am sucked in. So here is, this, this is called Here's the Skinny on Christmas. It's heart and hand. And I'm going to change the wording. I, I have seen this one for a long time and I just didn't love how it was worded. So I'm going to change it up a little bit. And I had to get, okay, this was not in the bargain bin. I had to get We Santa 2024. Mm -hmm. I love it. Love it. Love it. So I got him. And then in the bargain bin, I found these Bent Creek. I, I don't, I live under a rock sometimes, I swear. <laughs> but I don't know that I'd ever seen these before. These can be stitched together or separately. Mm -hmm. um, so it's District 25. This is Santa House. <laughs> Look at his little side eye. So funny. And this is deer watching. And then this is Merry Wishes. So cute. These have snaps. I'm just not into the whole snap thing. So I, I probably will not put snaps on them. But to each his own. Picked up some um, Picture This Plus 40 count vellum because I love that color. Oh, Perfect. I, I have, yeah. Yeah. I put my fabric right away. Oh but. yeah. So mm -hmm. I, yeah, I just left it all in the bag. Okay. This is so cute. Also in the bargain bin and I'm hoping you can help me. So this one is called, it's also a Bent Creek and it's called Christmas the Branch. I had never seen these before, but they have various branches for different holidays or seasons or whatever. This is the Christmas branch. And so eventually... It came out in parts. It came out in parts. This is what it's going to look like when it's all together. Okay. So this is the last part. This one is just the cardinal. That's in this one and the, and the little birdhouse. And then this has the beginning part. And the part. first part has the tree and all the words. So what's the middle part? The middle part is here. It's that cutie owl. And darn oh, of course. Yeah. Is it really an owl? It is. It is. <laughs> the owl is missing. So here's my plea, friends. Do you have this threesome pattern in these three parts? Because unfortunately, oh, these are not easy to find because they're kind of oldish. And Stitchery Nook had part one and part three. And I, w I was talking to her about it and she's like, yeah, she goes, sometimes with these patterns, People will just see one part that they like and buy it. And, and make then, an ornament or something. Right. Like mm -hmm. And so then she ended up with part one and part three, but no part two. And I really want part two. <laughs> and I can't find part two. So I, if you have part two, could I borrow it, please? I promise <laughs> to take phenomenal care of it yep. and get it back to you. But I would just really be grateful to have part two because mm -hmm. I really want to stitch the owl too. He's so cute. Mm -hmm. And it, I want it to be complete. And it won't be if I just have this and this part. So that's my plea for help if you can. But these, yes. So these came with the buttons and the snaps. Again, I'm not going to do snaps, but I will do buttons. So I think that's... Oh, that... The, I want to say we need to do a shout out and a thank you. Yes. Uh, Pam and Steph of Just Keep Stitching. 
shouted us out. It was, it was so, so kind. It was so, <laughs> so unexpected. We were, we were shocked. We're gold. <laughs> they have a segment where, know. you know, the song, um, Make new friends. Make new friends, but keep the old. One is silver and the other gold. I don't know. Did we sing that in Girl Scouts or something? And Probably. We're gold. We're gold. We were there. We were, <laughs> were so happy. We were featured as a gold. <laughs> the seven year club. Yeah. They, they talked around. about the seven year yeah. club because there were several of us that started Floss Tubes. At the same time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In that same year mm -hmm. in 2017. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, that was just awesome. Thank you, Thank you Thank guys you. so much. Yep. We really appreciate it. And I think about you both often, just so you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'll be seeing them in June <gasps> 2025 at uh, StitchCon. She's I am going. going to StitchCon weekend A. Uh -huh. So uh, I don't know what to expect. I'll be staying with family. But uh, yeah. Stitch I'm so, so, <laughs> so excited for you. Yeah, I'm excited. It's going to be amazing. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping to join her someday. Someday I'll get there. I keep saying that, but I will. Oh, I, I keep, I keep drinking this. I, I notice I'm like, I'm almost gone. I know. Uh, it's my favorite. It's a zero sugar Dr. Pepper and cream soda. I so cannot good. get enough of this. It's so good. You know, when they say, oh, you can get it at this price, but you've got to buy three cases. I'm like, no problem. <laughs> Sign me up. Get my cart. Sign me up. Oh my gosh, guys, there's one more thing that I forgot to tell you about. That's just a quick hit. Sorry. Um, that I just wanted to mention because maybe this would be of interest to you too. So Dollar Tree has these little um, diamond dot kits. And they have these adorable little, key, they have them, sorry, as keychains. So this is the sloth. Isn't he cute? And then there's a heart. Whoop. Get out of there. Heart. And a mandala. And so about how long did it take you to do each one? Oh, golly. Not very long. Probably look at him, that fox. And they are stuck on there. Oh, yeah. Like, this they is are. Like, look at him. Yeah. This is. Yeah. yeah, they're amazing. And you get tons of jewels. So you'll have a lot, a lot left over, a lot extra, which I like because I didn't necessarily like the way they had the colors for this mandala. And so I changed it up a little bit and I still don't, I still don't like it the way I, I'm just not a huge orange fan. I think I would want to play with this a little bit. But the great thing is they give you so many extras. Heck, I could pull some extras from that I I still mm -hmm. have from the heart and put it on here. So super fun. But this is a great idea for a little bag bling. Mm -hmm. So for a dollar twenty-five, you can buy this little kit, have a blast making this little doodad, and then hang it from your bag. So I thought maybe I should. It looks like this. I just grabbed the heart one. I grabbed some of these to give to friends because I thought it would be a fun little gift. Yeah, it doesn't take long at all. Maybe 20 minutes. I don't know. 20 minutes. Whatever. But it, everything is in here to make it. So go to Dollar Tree. You never know what you're going to find. So that's it. <laughs> Thank that you for coming it. to celebrate with us. I I do. I, I'm going to um, make a prediction and we will be taping like the first week of. Oh, is that right? Maybe December. Yeah. One more time before the end of this year. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you've got a busy schedule. <laughs> it's a little month. busy coming up. <laughs> Nita's a little busier than I am right now. Um <laughs> So yeah, we're gonna, but we're gonna make it happen. We're gonna yeah. find a time. We're gonna do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's gonna be because great. I have all those starts. I'm gonna share, and mm -hmm. she's gonna have all these finishes. <laughs> no. She's gonna share. <laughs> all right. Oh. Well, until we see you again, please remember to shine, shine sparkle, and, and stitch. stitch. Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs>